Hey, you're watching Good Creative Tutorial. Today we're going to do Adobe Illustrator technique uh, to create an Adidas logo. A couple different tools we'll use along the way. Um, this is the original right here, and then I know it's a different font, but close enough. Um, and then this is the the shape above it. Pretty simple, um, but distinct. It's what a logo should be. Uh, so if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and go to File New. Click OK. And I'm just going to hide the artboard here. And what you need to do is select the rectangle tool here and just click and let go. And we're going to type in 50 points, 50 PT, and 200 PT for the width and the height. All right. I'm going to flip that double sided arrow so now the fill is black. We don't need any border there. All right. So, first step. Go ahead and just go to Object, Transform, Transform Each. We just need to duplicate this with certain settings. And what we'll do, if you do pre Preview like that, um, and check that, make sure you just have horizontal, zero, I mean 100% uh, is fine, but vertical 85%, and then the horizontal negative 75 point vertical zero. All right, so here's the before and after. Make sure instead of OK, just hit Copy. And then before deselecting, with this still selected, press Control D or Command D on the Mac. So we have kind of a pattern here. What we want to do is click and drag around this with the black selection tool. And you just want to click and drag off the edge. So we bring it over maybe 24 degrees, some kind of degree like that. We can look at the original and kind of see maybe even a little bit more, 27 degrees or so, something like that. All right. Now, what we need to do is subtract from the, the bottom part. So click and drag a rectangle along the bottom like that. The problem is, if I click and drag around this and try to use the Pathfinder palette, if you just go to Window then Pathfinder, it's not going to work with uh, the one right here. You can kind of see it doesn't really work quite as well. What we need to do, if you hover over it, it says minus backs. So click this rectangle here and go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Back, Send to Back. If I select them all and click it, it still doesn't work right because it subtracts everything in the back except the top object. So we need to combine these first. So what you can do is click the rectangle tool, click and drag around, just make one right here so that it's going to go uh, over these three. All right, and hold shift and just click so we have these four. We don't have this one selected. All right, that's important. And just click the shape mode there, the first one, the unite. Now it's one image. You can kind of see I move that away. You can see it's one united image. Now we can click and drag around it. Actually, I'm going to move that a little bit up there. There we go. Click and drag around it, and then click minus back, and it will cut out that below. And then the only other part would be add some text, and there you go. The simple logo for Adidas, uh, just using a couple transform each and shape tool effects. Thanks.